Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be exploring how to install Windows 7. Yes, it's 2023 and we are still installing Windows 7. But anyway, uh, first we need a bootable USB like always. And to do that, first you need the ISO. Hold up, it went into my another monitor. Let me get that back. So here we go. This is the ISO that I got. It's the Windows 7 Ultimate. And I hope you have this downloaded. And then what you need is Rufus and a pen drive. You obviously need a pen drive. So for that, uh, I have the Rufus downloaded. So back, just type it properly. So there you go. So you need Rufus. And then uh, it, your pen drive should show up here. And do not plug in multiple pen drives. Well, you can plug in multiple pen drive and select from here. But I recommend not to just plug in one pen drive. And then if it shows up here, that means your pen drive is working correctly. And make sure your pen drive is like there is nothing important on it because your pen drive will be formatted and the partition. But anyway, then we need the boot selection. So we just need the pen drive, sorry, the ISO. And then you need to select the partition scheme. So if it's MBR or GPT and i showed this a lot of time how to check this but if you still don't know then just google it or something you can find it out or if you want me to make a video on the differences between mbr and gpt leave a comment below and i may make a video on that so you guys can understand the differences between mbr and gpt and what may uh, what issues you may face if you get the wrong one so anyway after this uh, if you select gpt it should automatically get to FAT32 or if you select MBR it will go to NTFS so it depends on what type of uh, partition scheme you have and then uh, if you just hit start it will give you a warning so this will say all data on this device will be destroyed that means everything on your pen drive will be deleted so make sure you make sure or double check if you don't have anything on your pen drive now i'll just hit ok and then uh, it will take a bit of time so it will copy the iso and departition partition our pen drive and then we will be ready to boot from that and while this is happening you can check your uh, boot key or if you don't have any os or you're doing this on a laptop then it should uh, automatically boot into the pen drive but anyway I, I hope you can figure that out because that's not that complicated it's a really simple thing where you just have to select which device to boot from and that can be done from the boot menu so i hope you guys can figure this out uh, i'll uh, probably give a list of keys that you can use to get into the boot menu and if you enjoy the video and if you find this video helpful then leave a like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment on what video you would like to see next so there we go when it says it's ready that means it's ready and you can close this menu so just close it then close this and now let me show you what happens after we boot into this pen drive so after you boot into your pen drive you should see something like this and if you see something like this that means you are in the installation process so you can start inst the installation starts from here what the heck why can't i talk anyway just select the language we'll leave this as is it next then install now and now we can get on with our installation so just accept and then we'll go with custom and then select the hard drive where you want to install so here i have uh, a blank hard drive so if you want advanced option you can just click here so if you want to format a drive then you can click on this and it will format the drive if you want to delete it you can delete this as well and if you want to extend it so you want more space in your drive you can click on this so if you are uh, installing a uh, windows or you are trying to do clean install i would recommend just deleting the drive and uh, 
installing it again or you can just format it it's fine but for us we'll do new and then we'll i'll just use all of it then okay and there we go so it will get two drives so one for system and another for where our operating system will sit on so now we just hit next and it should start installing so this will depend on uh, if you're using an ssd or a hard drive so if you're using a hard drive which is a bit slower it should it will take a lot more time but if you're using an ssd then it should take very little time and it should be done fairly quickly and there we go so the installation is done and now it will just boot into windows so this is just completing installation and don't worry it won't take too much time and again if your pc reboots multiple times then still don't worry because it is very normal for the desktop or the windows install to reboot your system multiple times so there you go it's checking everything if everything is all right now we just have to name our user so this will be the name of the user who will be using this computer so i'll just and then a password if you want to use a password you can type it here if you don't want to use it you can just hit next then uh, if you have a product key you can set it here i won't use a product key i'll just hit skip and then use recommended settings and if you want to like stop this completely you can just ask me better so i'll just use very on this area don't care then set your time and then if you're using a home network work or public network whichever you prefer so this will just connect to your network and do some necessary settings and then there we go now we are in windows 7 I'll wait for a bit <laughs> give it a little bit of time and it should boot into windows 7 there we go so now it's booted into windows 7 so if you find this video helpful then hit like and subscribe 